Hello and welcome to the latest how to code a game like Minecraft in Unity video. Uh, we're going to be covering how to do transparent blocks in this video. Because one of the things I do want to get to quite soon is uh, trees, tree generation, tree placement, all that kind of thing. And we can't do that right now because we don't have transparent blocks. Or at least I guess Minecraft has a setting, or at least it used to have a setting, where you could turn the transparency off and not, or turn the graphics off of fancy and it will make the leaves uh, opaque but we want to be able to do the transparent blocks so we're going to do that in this tutorial it's going to be fairly quick i think by by the standards that we're, by the 40 minutes to an hour tutorials that we've been doing so far so um let's get started so the first thing i should point out is uh i have updated my um where have we lost it now i have updated my block icons to include glass. This is going to be our transparent block of choice. This means that I have had to, you know, adjust it so that I've got the glass icon set there. If you if you remember in the last video, I showed you how to do all this, so I'm not gonna go over it again in this video. And also I have uh, added glass to our block atlas. So uh, I've just stuck it, I think we had coal there before, I'm not sure, but I've just put it in this top corner. So it is now texture ID three. I've also updated the block types to represent that. So glass is now block ID 11. Uh, and obviously the texture is just three, 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 all the way down. And I've got our glass icon there. So that was all the setup I had to do. Like I say, I don't want to go over that again in this video because that's basically just what I showed you how to do in the last video. So that really would be being redundant. Now, the first thing we're going to do before we get started is there was one uh, little mistake that, uh, well, I'll show you the mistake actually. So if we just go into toolbar from the last video, this is, if I just go into toolbar and I now set our item ID to our new glass block, which is, I believe, 10. Yeah, 11, but it's the last one out of 11. Obviously, we start at zero, so we end at 10. So if I just set our tool belt, the first item, to be our new glass block, and then I run the game. So we have glass there in our first slot. However, if I place glass, we get bedrock. And the reason for that is when we initialize the selected ID in our player script, we're setting it to um, zero or one, or one, sorry, we're setting it to one, but one is, is the block ID for bedrock. Uh, and that is not what is in our first slot. What is in our first slot is glass, because we've just put it there. The reason this is happening is because we have not set, um, is because our toolbar is not setting our actual, where we got this bit here, where it sets the item ID. It's only doing that the first time we scroll it. So before we scroll it, it's just left at whatever it's set up by default, which is one, because that's why we initialized it as in the player script. So if we just copy that line, go up here and just paste it into the uh, start of the toolbar script, and that should fix that problem. And there we have uh, what looks like a snow block. So now that we've fixed that problem, you can see the first problem that we're having with our transparent blocks, and that is that they are not transparent. It's just drawing, well, essentially a passable snow block. But we want it to be transparent, so we're going to have to change that. Now, the, it, it'd be tempted to think that it's nice and easy and we could just go into our blocks material here and go down to Unlit and change it to transparent. And if you look at, if you watch down here, um, where the glass, you can see the, the glass texture um, there, when I change it to transparent, it actually goes transparent. So you might think that that's going to fix things. However, if I run the script, it is not just transparent for the glass, it is transparent through everything. And that's because if you remember, we're not drawing uh, any meshes where there are voxels against it. We, we don't want to be drawing all the internal voxels because we can't see them and it's just a waste of vertices and a waste of calculation power and so on. So when we draw a transparent block like this, we are actually drawing a window into the Minecraft universe, I guess, into the fabric of reality. So um, that's not gonna work. So let's get started on how to make it work. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our world script. We're gonna go right down to the bottom and we're gonna add another value into our block type. And this one is just gonna be called um, public bool is transparent. So this is 
of it's fairly straightforward what I mean by this, but is solid is going to correspond to whether the block is physically there, whether you can pass through the block, and then uh, is transparent is going to correspond to whether you can see the block, or whether you can see through the block. If it is transparent, we want to be drawing all the blocks around it. There might be a block there, like a glass block, or um, what are the transparent blocks? We've got ice, water, anything like that. There might actually be something physically there, but we can see through it, so we need to be drawing all the blocks on all the sides of it. So that's what this value is going to do. And the next thing we're going to do while we're in here is we're just going to go up to check for voxel, and we're just going to copy this and rename it. Uh, we'll just call it check. We'll go check if voxel transparent. I'm not great at naming functions. And the only difference with this one is it's going to check is transparent rather than is solid. So now if we go into our chunk script, we want to go down to first things first, uh, check voxel, wherever that is there. Uh, so we need to change this. This is also... Now, we, we may rework this script, this function at some point, but at the minute, this thing is only being used once, and it's being used by this here so essentially it's it's, it's a one-shot function we could just put and put this code in here but we'll leave it here for now and we'll just change this to reference the right part uh, and then this instead of using check voxel wants to be check if voxel transparent and then if we go down here one thing I did actually notice is that we're doing this uh, six times per voxel. We only need to do it once. It's not a massive thing, but, you know, every little helps. So we just take this and put it up here outside of that loop. That way we're only setting our block ID once per block, like, an, like a sensible person, and not setting it six times per block for every face that we're checking. So now that we've done that, uh, the last thing we need to do to make this work is we just need to remove this exclamation point because if you remember this is checking if a voxel was solid before. If a voxel was solid, then we didn't want to draw anything. So it was only drawing the vertices and the triangles and the, adding the texture and everything if the voxel was not solid. However, now we're not checking if it's solid, we're checking if it's transparent. So that means that we want to draw if it is true because that means it's transparent and we can see through it. So if we go back into Unity, and I'll just double check once it's caught up that I ha see I haven't set it to transparent. That's because I've only just created this value. So we set it to transparent. So all the other ones should be. Yep, none of them are transparent. So this is the only block. Well, I guess air block is transparent, but that, that shouldn't matter. And then if we press play, so now you can see we have our. Um, a glass texture and it's not drawing through the world anymore but it's also not entirely drawing itself and if you look around you'll see all sorts of other weird things happening and this is because it's because of things that I don't fully understand to be honest this is all shader graphics card related stuff something to do with Z right that I tried to understand and then decided it's probably not worth it for this tutorial Seeing as I can think of three other different ways to do it that I can understand, so we're going to do that instead. Um, but yeah, this uh, I did. I did mess around with the shaders for a little bit and decided uh, to stop messing around with it and do something different. So go back to our world script, go right to the top, and we're going to add a new. We're going to get rid of uh, this. No, no, we're going to keep that one, and we're going to add a new one. So we're going to keep that original material. We're going to add a new one called transparent material. Then we're going to go back over to our chunks, go to the top of here as well, uh, and we want to be adding a list here, and we're going to call this one, it's just another triangle list, but we're going to call this one transparent triangles. And also, we need to add an array, and the array is going to be a material array. We're just going to call it materials and it's going to equal a new material array of size two and we'll get to why that is in a minute uh, we're no longer going to need this so we'll get rid of that 
and we're going to replace it with our new materials array which we need to set first so materials zero this is our standard material our non-transparent stuff equals world dot material and then our materials and this is our transparent one equals world dot transparent material and then we're going to set that to our mesh, re mesh renderer by setting materials instead of material like we did before so now in order to utilize this second material if we go down to create mesh and we want to set uh, we, well first off we want to get rid of this we're not going to be using this anymore so we're going to put mesh sub mesh count equals two and then we're going to set the first of those sub meshes so this is basically this is how you tell it you want you have more than one material in this mesh set triangles and then we're just going to use our original triangles uh, array or list to array and then we need to tell it which which of the uh, met sub meshes that we're setting. So this is zero. And then do exactly the same for the next one. But this time we're going to use our transparent triangles array. So that's all the code to actually get it so that we can set separate meshes, uh, separate sub meshes, sorry. Now we need to actually set those sub meshes or tell it which parts of the chunk we want to use as sub meshes so the first thing we need to do in our update mesh data is we need to set a bool to tell us whether the voxel that we're looking at is transparent so this here is telling us whether the voxel next to us is transparent because we know that if there's a solid block next to us we don't need to draw the face that is being checked this is different this is telling us if our voxel is transparent because we need to do something different with the triangles depending on whether it's transparent or not so we'll just call it is transparent and it will equal world dot block types block ID dot is transparent. And now if we go down here, we're just going to enclose these in an if statement. And it's just going to be if we we'll go if is not transparent. So if not transparent, add the triangles to our regular triangles array. Else, we're going to add them to our transparent triangles array. Just copy this down. Uh, vertex index is going to be incremented by the same regardless. That should be about everything, I think. So let's go back and give it a whirl. No, no, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. So the one thing I... Um, so now if we go into here... We just need to create a new material because we have our second block material for transparent blocks, but we don't actually have a material there. So we'll set this back to regular texture unlit and then we'll duplicate it and we'll call this one transparent blocks. And then this one will just use the regular transparent. When we go into our world, drag that in there, and then let's give it a try. And there we have it. Now we have functional transparent blocks. And uh, this this is important um, for going forward because, like I say, uh, to do things like trees, we need transparent blocks for the leaves. But also to do things like stairs and um, foliage, like grass and torches and things like that. Basically anything where we're putting something in a voxel space, but we need to be able to see through to the other side. So a chest would be another example, because in a chest you can see the voxels all around it. And it's a bit, so it's it's not just for seeing through glass blocks that we're doing this. There are other things where this, this mechanism will come into play. But uh, I know this was a much shorter video than we used to for this series. But uh, I just wanted to get this quickly done and out of the way so that we can move on to some other things. 
Um, I know a lot of you are clamoring for some bigger functionality, like, um, well, the lighting is still on the table, and obviously and uh, somebody brought up saving in the comments uh, the day that I'm recording this. So all, all of this I plan to get to, but it's just, it seems a bit pointless. For the saving thing, for example, it seems a bit pointless trying to tackle saving the game when we haven't even fully developed what we're going to be saving. At the minute, it's just a load of squares. <laughs> so, um, I mean, we don't even have a menu to save the game from. So I, I do plan on get to it, getting to it all, but um, not just yet. <laughs> Baby steps. So uh, that's all for now, and I will see you hopefully next week. Bye-bye.